Um, game one, Koyu beat Ice Studying's Green Ninja with Corin, mm. and then Ice Studying make a two made a two game comeback with Cloud. Actually, Ice Studying switch switch to Cloud, did it? Yep. Uh -huh. So this is the matchup that he did lose, and this is another matchup that is one of my favorites. Corin is my secondary, and uh, one of my training partners is a Green Ninja, and um, mm. it's a very very interesting matchup. Um, Corin gets a lot of punishment and a lot of uh, reward out of her ground game. Yeah. On the other hand, Greninja, amazing long range spacing with the shurikens, there's forward air. Yeah. Um, and right now. And, and uh, the juggle ability, the combos. Oh, yeah. Very, very strong. But that's pretty tough against uh, Corin because she has a very disjointed and relatively safe down air. Yeah. Um, right now, Koyu taking the lead. Got some solid combos, the neutral air converting into the up air. And um, with just one tipper, this could already be the end of Ice Studying stock. Yeah, that Dragon Fang shot being used very, very well. Just Ooh, neutral air. Getting some solid work in confirm. There <gasps> that was a down angle and not a sweet spot. Okay, go straight into the down throw, and we're getting close to core and up throw kill percentages. Ooh, yeah, very lovely. Ooh. Trying to go for that for that um, side B. Yep. Yeah, we're trying to get the uh, two the two frame punish on on the wall, but but doesn't. And then immediately uses the kick to cover some of the get up options, but yeah. was barely short. Yeah. And um, Corin actually gets a lot of reward out of a charm with her reverse neutral B, but it's very tough to execute. And Koyu was just a little bit too late and didn't have confidence in it. I don't think. Yeah. And right now, Ice Sitting is steadily climbing back into this game. Use your up B. It's going to be very tough. Ooh, doesn't get the but he makes it back. Yeah. The thing about a lot of, the, a lot of um, Greninja Smashes, actually, is that although they are kind of very, very strong, they do have a moment of startup. They have quite oh, a bit yeah. of startup. Yeah, so yeah. Very nice Ooh, back, there, back there. Very it. disjointed. Very yeah, those big. wings just popping out. Again, that, that one's got a, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of startups. They're kind of nice for reading air dodges as well. Oh, yeah. It has very little lag, though. And uh, the fact that it moves your character yeah, yeah, can that, make it that, very unexpected. Yeah, I think that's. I think I really, really love those moves and they kind of how they, they come that, out. The one that displaces the movement is incredible. Oh, yeah. And uh, the Smashville platform just saving uh, saving Koyu right there after the down tilt. Koyu's and doing a really good job of getting of landing. Ooh, these, uh, jumps over it, bad the eye, and that's it for Corin. Corin kind of looks like sort of a heavy character, but Corin is actually the same weight as Mario, mm. so kind of middle of the pack. Um, not easy to kill, not hard, um, and that is very important because uh, Corin with Rage is one of the best. States places for Corin to be in. Yeah, um, she kills extremely early with Rage, especially against Greninja, who has very high damage moves like forward air, forward smash. If you counter one of those, Greninja's dead at 50. Yeah, and we all know that you know Corin does have a very strong, strong counter oh, even yeah. even after the changes. Oh yeah, <laughs> very very nice. Just reading the uh, the side B with a jump into fair, getting once, over those kind of hitboxes. Once again, uh, I said in crawling back into the game. Using that shuriken, which is pretty tough for Corin to get through. Um, something that's very important for Corin is um, that she can side B and use the swing kick to get through the shuriken projectiles. Yeah. So that is going to be uh, a limiting factor for Greninja. I love those moments, like those moments, <laughs> those, those moments of silence where you just have nothing happening, where everyone's just, you know, they're just they're both waiting for e each other to make to make, make the first move. They're really interesting um, mind yeah, games. Yeah. Nothing, nothing's happening, but a lot is happening in the player's minds. Yeah. Very Ooh. nice. Okay. That's such a strong move when you get the spike. Ooh. <laughs> this is very important um, for Corin at kill percentage to not use side B too much and try to unstale it. Um, yeah. Because an unstilled side B will kill at like 110. Very early. Up throw, up throw not quite. But Corin's up throw, on the other hand, will kill. That, and that is a confirm. That was, yeah, that was a massive follow-up. The Nair looks, popping him very, very high, but getting that speed, landing, jumping up, up at us to secure it. Great turnaround. It, he was on the receiving end of quite a lot of pressure, yeah. but he's now in the lead. Greninja is a leapfrog after all. Very high double jump to confirm those weak hit Nairs. Down throw, not quite finishing it off. Down throw, just a tiny tad weaker than up throw. And the up air though. Okay, so and we're looking at a very even game right now. Only 20% in it. Corin on 20%. Obviously, a brand new stock for Greninja. We've got a grab on the right hand side of the stage. Koyu looking to have a bit of a, the majority of stage control at the moment, but using that side B swing kick backwards, very safe, but sacrifices a lot of stage control. Gets the bite. It's very often, not often you see see the bite landing unless you do have the stun first. 
He did have a son there. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that, went for the bite immediately. It was so quick. It was like almost in instantaneous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> still, still a good amount of damage. Oh, he uses the balloon! That would have been nice. That would have been very sexy if it worked, but uh, I like the idea. I like mm. the idea, definitely. And something very important for Corin is that she can be very safe, but it costs a lot of stage control to be safe. So the side B kick backwards costs a lot of stage control. Mm. Spacing with back air, her safe aerials, costs a lot of stage control too. Yeah. Um, and against Greninja, you don't want to sacrifice too much of that. Ooh! Gets the footstool! Is that a gimp? That's a gimp! The grab release footstool. <laughs> and Koyu looking a little bit, little bit surprised, I think. <laughs> I studying, I, I studying almost like, yeah. yeah. I did. I That's planned that. Just look, just look at that in slow motion right there. And that is what we call a gimp. Mm. Very nice. Did he double jump immediately? Yep, I think he caught the double jump. Tough. Very tough. But uh, a very well found kill uh, by I studying. I mean, yeah, did they work. both? Yep, Cloud and Pit. They both changed. I know Koyu does have a very solid pit. I did, and I do know that Ice Setting has a very solid cloud. He plays cloud in teams primarily. Yeah. yeah. But um, I guess I guess Ice Setting just not a big fan of uh, pit when he's playing uh, the ninja. Yeah. Or I guess, um, I guess Ice Setting would have to change his character first, huh? Yeah. So I guess Ice Setting switch, shifted, shifted to cloud, and then Koyu decided to go to pit as a response. And pit very notorious for being one of the few reasons uh, to. Few, 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 re few, few situations in which you would go pit instead of dark pit is against Cloud because your arrows are a lot better at gimping him. Yeah. I believe uh, Kiwi as well was recently talking. Uh, she's a player from America who okay. uh, she was talking about how why she uses pit against Cloud and you know actually you know, again it's it's a, it's a character that she finds to be actually very very competent against this character as you say because of that ability to kind of like you know gimp. Yep. Right now, we do see Koei with a solid lead. And Pit is kind of kind of a weird character in the meta game. Um, in Japan, he is very appreciated. However, in both Europe and ooh, in both Europe and America, very rare character, Pit. Mm. Ooh, limit side B. Yeah. Okay, but you do have very, very quick end lag on that one. Just kind of instantly coming out, goes to the dash attack. And especially on this percentage, getting a hit gives you a lot of limit back. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, he's getting the dash attack, so we've got Koyu on stage, and I saw him just trying to recover, Ooh. gets knocked up again. Koyu just moving him around, in, back into, back in, into center <gasps> stage. The side B comes out, but doesn't land. Okay, we've got throw off, Koyu on stage. I saw him just, just trying to recover now, does so quickly. Very solid by I saw him back on avoiding stage all again. the arrows. Ooh, that was an up air punish, but not quite by I saw him. Ooh, Ooh, immediately wow, immediately it. throwing yeah. out. I like the use of, of, of Blade Beam. Not, not enough people use Blade Beam uh, in, in Limit. It's a really good move. It's, everyone, very, it's very solid, but against everyone, a character like Pit, especially on longer ranges, getting it reflected back, yeah, kind of a tough situation for Cloud. Yeah, reads the, reads the jump just up air to secure that. He's got his Limit up as well. The good thing about, about Limit is not just you have like one of the strongest kill moves in the entire game, but also because his aerial speed just changes, it becomes so much better. Oh yeah, he gets no, ground right. speed, uh, he falls faster, Aerial speed, he gets. I don't, I don't know if he know if he gets aerial speed. I, I do know he falls faster. His physics just change. Oh yeah, yeah. He becomes a faster character in general. <laughs> yeah. And the jab combos. We got Koyu off stage again. Just recovers nicely. A, a forward air thrown out to try and cover the get up, but doesn't. Timing's a little bit off. Okay, okay. Interesting situation right now, and. Ice Sitting just gets to charge a lot of limit and baiting Pit in and then getting solid punishes right now. Forward tilt, so nice and Cloud. Got good range on it, good knockback. Ooh, that was power shielded? Yeah. Huh. And then easy punish with the up smash. Just percentage at this point. Okay. Okay. Very solid gameplay overall by Ice Sitting right now. Very patient. Just Ooh. waiting for Koyu. Very nice. No, very nice. Because a lot of a lot, a lot of pits do that. Go yeah. for the uh, side beat onto the shield to do it again. Very nice of him just, just to space back and immediately punish with that. And Koyu's dash approaching dash. with pit not working out for him right now. Very, very sticky situation. And Town and City, well, great stage for Ooh. Cloud. <laughs> oh, very nice. And goes for the second part of Klim Hazard as well.
Oh, the up B immediately. Yeah. Nice. Klim has a great move. <laughs> I love it. It has way, it has way too much range for such a <laughs> such a solid out of shield move. Okay. okay. Forward air is again one one of those late star startup moves. It's very good at catching people out sometimes. You don't see it all too often, but it is very very nice. Oh yeah, it's it's a, it's a move you throw out every so often, right? Getting that up air though, Ooh. he doesn't follow up with the second one. And almost limit. Yeah, I think he's not. Yeah, he's is. not charging himself, so it can come up in the middle of a combo. Yeah, it's very nice when it's almost charged because you can still have access to side B as an anti air. Yeah, this is good stuff. Just juggling with the up air, <gasps> very very strong up air, but Ooh. good timing on the on the air dodge from Koyu. Oh, and that should be it. 2-0 for I studying. Very very solid right there. First game looking a little bit shaky, and but the second game, Koyu's pit. Wasn't looking that solid. My studying rushes off. Well played. Good game from him. Really, really good game. Um, Koyu was, you know, putting it in some very, very good work though, as well. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, that second game, you know, it was very, very nice to see to see, see that work. But unfortunately, he was just getting caught out by by too much, you know. And I was able to kind of con con continue his juggling quite a lot, rack up the percentage he needs.